Welcome in this video series. In this video, we are going to deal with the banner markup. You can see in my banner, I have a logo image, h1 element, jQuery countdown markup. You can see there are some navigations as well. So this is not the part of our banner. We will deal with these navigations later. So first I'm going to go to my editor and I'm going to have a section with the class of main. Inside the main, I'm going to have a div with the class of let's say overlay we will deal with this overlay in our CSS part after the overlay I'm gonna have a div with the class of let's say container inside the container div with the class of row inside the row div with the class of call dash md dash 6 Inside the column D6, I'm going to have a div with the class of logo. Inside the div logo, I just need to place my logo image here. So if I just go to my root directory and then IMG, you can see I've already placed some images here. So let me connect the logo image first. IMG SRC. Okay. And alt would be volume logo. Save. So if I just go to my page and reload my page, then you can see my logo has been connected, but you cannot see it very well just because my background is white and logo is also white. So let's have a dummy image. My logo width is 218, height is 120. So let me download this file, sorry, image. And let's say IMG and one dot JPG. Okay. So I just need to change the image. So if I just go to my page and reload the page and you can see the logo image. Okay. So here I just need to have some offset columns. So let's say call dash MD dash offset dash three. Okay. So now I just need to make it center. So here I'm going to have a class, let's say center dash block. Okay. So you can see my logo is centered now. So here I'm going to have a new class IMG dash response. Okay. So this class is used to make responsive image. Actually, uh, this is not mandatory, but I always do this. Okay. So after this row, I'm going to have a new div with the class of row. Inside the row, I'm going to have a div with the class of call dash md dash 12. This time using all 12 columns. So now I'm going to have a div with the class of welcome dash message. Then h1 let's say we are coming soon okay so let's make it center so after the welcome message text center this is also the bootstrap standard okay so if I just go to my demo then after h1 you can see there are jQuery plugin markup so you just need to go to the Google and search for sonnet down count github follow the first link go to github page and you can see the down count jquery plugin okay so first you just need to download the zip file i've already downloaded it okay there it is so let me open this file so you can see the jquery.downcount.js so I'm going to go to my JS folder. So let me paste this file into my JS folder. I'm just going to go to my editor and now I just need to connect the file. So here, let's say, okay. So here you can see only jQuery usage, but I need HTML markup as well. So you just need to go to the index.html, scroll down and search for UL. Okay. 
copy this ul paste it after the welcome message div i don't need the separator ally let me save this reload the page and you can see something happen okay so don't need this ally okay so now we just need to activate this jquery plugin so copy this jquery code and go down after the script i'm gonna have a new script tag paste the snippet i don't need this offset and this function okay comma is also not needed so here i'm gonna change the date 24 january 2016 so let me save this. I don't need this alert at all. Okay. So let me save this and reload my page. And you can see my count counter has been started now. Okay. So here I just need to make it center as well. So after the countdown, I'm gonna have a new class text center. Let me save this, reload the page. And you can see we have just completed our banner markup. So this is all for this video. Thank you.